Good morning folks, what a cracker morning. I've returned to an area where I did all right recently fishing the Ned Rig system, but I didn't get to fish weedless. So I wasn't fishing fully right up into the weed pockets. So today I wanted to show you three of my favorite weedless presentations and how I rig and fish those. All right, we've got about an hour of run out tide, uh, which we're gonna hit first up. Because we did all right last time on the Ned Rig system, I'm gonna kick things off with the weedless Ned Rig. So that's a TT Nedlox EWG, and that's rigged with a 2.75 inch TRD Bugs in Hot Snake. So we're gonna pitch that in around the weed and see if we can find ourselves a flatfish. Then we've got two other weedless presentations we wanna have a look at as well. A great advantage of rigging and fishing weedless is that you can fish without fear at all. You see an ugly snag, cast into it. You see weed, cast into it. You can really pick that structure apart. And in a situation like this where I'm fishing shallow structure, I can see the structure I'm fishing. Ned rig is brilliant. I love it for shallow water structure work because we're representing crabs, you know, prawns, even small squid, all sorts of creatures that hang around and live in that weed and other structure. So we can fish it nice and slow, hop it and drop it, shake it, really get it in and work it in around that weed and structure. Like there, I can feel that I'm in the weed there. Whereas recently when I was fishing the Ned Rig here, I, I was fishing wider into the gutter more. So I'm gonna get it right in amongst the weed and pick that weed apart. With the Ned Rig, when I wasn't fishing weedless, I was looking for the weed edges and fishing to the edge. Now I'm gonna cast over the back of them because there's often behind those big weed towers are hollows where the tide comes over and then it cuts into the bottom. And it makes these hollows behind the weed that the fish sit in. So I can throw over the top of the weed and fish the pockets in behind the weed, which is cool. Yeah, oh, what was that? Bit of bottom, bit of stick or something. Oh, what, oh, that just, whoa. I don't know if you saw that take, that was brilliant. That fish has come, followed it in out of the weed and nailed it right beside the yak. That is awesome. What a cool take. What a cool take. Oh, I'll try and get you around out of the sun a little bit here where we can see. That was excellent. That fish just picked that up beautifully. Nice little flatty to kick things off. Beautiful. And out pops the lure. So you can see that was on that weedless rigged TRD Bugs, 2.75 inch, and it cleared that hook no problem because of that super soft and flexible Z-Man plastic. So Z-Man plastic is the go-to plastic for weedless rigging because it's naturally buoyant, so it sits up, and it also clears very easily. So we're just gonna swim this guy back out. Oh, come on, buddy. There we go, he's away. That fish was pretty cool. I could feel the plastic bumping in the weed. And then as the plastic cleared the weed, the fish came out and just nailed it. So that's the, the weedless Ned Rig. One tenth ounce I'm fishing, so you could fish one fifteenth here. But one tenth gives me good casting, gets down there. And you can see there the floody, no problem nailing that, so, and clearing the hook. So that's a one tenth ounce in a number one. And I'm fishing natural colour head with a UV plastic. The sun's out a bit more this morning compared to when I fished the other day. So I've got a green pumpkin 
uh, or maybe a black head in a one tenth ounce one and I've got a hot snakes color in the bugs which is my favorite it gives me that balance between that green pumpkin -y color on the back and that UV belly so you can see here I'm I'm bouncing I'm in the weed I can feel that weed there's a nice little drain coming out there I'm gonna get one in there <clears throat> so the the Ned rig weedless perfect for when you want to hop and stop shake it really stick close to an area and work a, a piece of structure over thoroughly so I would say this is your go-to weedless for shallow water structure and slow fishing pretty slow I'll often just twitch and shake it all right we've got one on the weedless Ned rig so let's just change it up we'll keep rotating through the presentations so that I can show you my favorites so this guy is my favorite for fishing shallow water flats weedless when I want to pick through the weed and pick those sandy pockets and that in the weed this guy is brilliant because it's a slim swims it's a paddle tail it's got plenty of inbuilt action whereas the TRD bugs on the nedlocks we need to hop and work and shake and do that with it and keep it around that structure this guy's a paddle tail so I can throw him and just wind him I can just slow roll it over the flats I can stall it into those pockets in the weed and I can basically just hop and twitch and do whatever I want with it and that paddle tail swims just awesome in the water to fit that I run a snake locks finesse in a 1 8 ounce in a number two hook and that number two fits perfectly on the little slim swims so basically I can work this one a bit faster I can roll it because it's a bait fish I can hop it and roll it I generally don't because I'm fishing weedless I don't pause it overly long because I, I want the fish I want the presentation moving when the fish hits it and then you get a really awesome hookup rate the hookup rate's still great on because you're fishing the z-man so it's super soft and flexible but I find if you if you just leave it sit on the bottom and let the fish bite it and bite it it, it may not find the hook so I tend to keep it moving a little bit so that's on a 1 8 ounce number two TT snake locks finesse it sits perfectly on there and I've caught some big flatties on this presentation so perfect for you know all sorts of shallow water fishing with that 1 8 ounce head so you can fish edges with it fish flats with it uh, it's a, a swimming presentation so you can throw it into mangroves and wherever you want to fish it and swim it out um, caught some really nice jacks on it in the northern drains uh, you know there's a lot of often a lot of timber in those northern drains so you can fish this through the timber and that sort of thing and the jacks just nail it you know it looks like a jelly prawn if you twitch it or a small bait fish if you roll it and yeah fish eat it if you've got some you know heavy weed beds in your area or broken weed patches or timber or that sort of thing and you want to give weed this fishing a go make sure you check out tackletactics.com.au and there's a section called rigging guides and in that rigging guide section you'll find tips on how to rig weedless so there's step-by-step -step videos and diagrams and all that sort of thing of how to rig weedless a lot of people actually find it easier than rigging on a standard jig head so don't be afraid to give weedless fishing a go and uh, you'll find loads of weedless jig heads available in the TT range and you'll find Z-Man rigs brilliantly weedless because you're only hooking the chin of the plastic onto the hook and then up through the body so if you're fishing a plastic that's you know not durable you can get one bite and the chin can tear out and that plastic's pretty well done for weedless rigging so the Z-Man you'll find the fish can absolutely blast it and you just re-rig it go again catch fish after fish and and because it's so soft it also clears the hook very well so it works a couple of ways for you and it's also naturally buoyant so you get that tail working for you as well standing up enough of me waffling on let's find a fish eh the weedless ned rig because i'm fishing 1 15th ounce and oh yeah there's a fish 1 10th ounce and that sort of thing i'll generally fish it on a one to three kilo rod Oh, that was right up in the weed. I'll generally fish it on a one to three kg rod and, um, you know, six pound braid, 10 pound leader, a small reel. When it comes to these guys, the one eighth ounce, I'll throw on either a one to three or a two to four. And then when I get up to the quarter ounce and three eighth ounce in the other presentation, I'm going to show you the minnows, I'll step up and just fish the two to four generally. 
Oh, that's a decent fish. Feels the right one. Oh yeah, that's a nice bloody. That is a nice fish. That is beautiful. That is the Z-Man two and a half inch slim swims. One eighth ounce number two in a TT snake locks finesse. And it's pinned where they generally always get pinned right in the corner of the jaw on that weedless presentation. All right, let's get him out. Hook's, that hook is definitely secure in there, so I'll need to put it on the grips. Oh, settle down, settle down, settle down. Settle down, I'm gonna put you back in again. So there you go. That's a nice fish. Pinned securely in the corner of the jaw on that two and a half inch slim swims. One eighth, number two, snake locks finesse. So yeah, not a monster, but a, a solid little flighty, that's for sure. And that again, right up, casting right up into the weed. I can feel the presentation bumping through the weed. And then that fish smashed it. Oh, he just kicked water up my shirt too. <laughs> nice and chilly in the morning. Almost got him, almost got him. Come on, buddy. There we go. And we're going to send you on your way. Off you go. Beautiful fish, not in a hurry. Back to the bottom. So there you go. That is that little presentation. So a handful of casts and boom, fish on. So I love that little paddle tail and I love it weedless. And you can see the design of the hook on that snake locks finesse, how the hook kicks down. When you pull that plastic up, that hook sits beautifully on there and stops it catching any weed or junk. Plenty of clearance there. So as soon as the fish touches it, it clears. So I fish this presentation if I want to catch, you now if I'm fishing an area where I could catch brim, grunter, flathead, flounder, trevally, all sorts of different species. I'll fish this guy here as an all-rounder that, um, yeah, flatties love, but it catches all different sorts of stuff. All right, the third presentation that I commonly throw is this guy, and this is when I'm purely hunting flathead. This is an awesome flathead presentation. It's great for big flats, big edges, run and gun, fish fast, cover water. You can hop it, you can roll it. And it's a TT Big Eyes. I've got with the black glow eye. I like that. And the chartreuse red, my favorites, but all colors work. That's a 3.0 in a three inch minnows. And you can see it's got that fin on the back that the hook slots into. And that makes it really, really difficult to snag or foul with weed. So it's an awesome presentation. Again, it's a paddle tail, which means we can roll it. We can hop it. We can burn and kill. We can, we can fish it in all sorts of retrieves. But this is the plastic I fish when I really want to cover water and chase primarily flathead. So it's a great plastic to have in your kit. Awesome also, you know, that you take the same presentation, you fish it up north for jacks and for barra, you fish it down south, catch Murray cod, catch bass on it, lots of, you know, it's really, really good all-round bait fish profile and a lot of different species eat it. Yep, yep, yep. All right. Didn't take long for that three inch minnows to get eaten. And that is dead set one of my favorite presentations for a flathead. Three inch minnows, oh, weedless on a quarter, three o in a TT snake eyes. Fish on. You can see that's not a monster fish, but even a, even a tiny flatty will eat a three inch minnows, so. That's brilliant. He has absolutely scoffed that too. They definitely think that that three inch minnows is a meal worth eating. So you can see he's absolutely inhaled that. He's only probably just legal maybe. And he's got that, he's got that Z-Man three inch minnows right down there. Have a look at that. That is scoffed. All right. Let's see if we can get it out of you without doing any damage, buddy. Man, you've drilled it. 
All right, we've got the hook. We've got to get our finger back out of here now. All right, there we go. So you can see he cleared that hook. No problem at all clearing that hook because of the soft Z-Man placky. Little tacker, maybe just legal, but he's drilled that. He's away. Well, that didn't take long. We've probably been here for 20 minutes and we've caught a fish on each of those weedless presentations. So I guess the key outtake is if you're fishing areas where there's weed and structure, often that's where the fish are holding. So the weedless presentation allows us to get that plastic right in where the fish are and get them out of there. All right, might change it up again. All right, back on the Nedlock CWG. So I'm right in hopping the structure. And fishing off and a little bit slow with this presentation. Because I'm on a one tenth ounce head and it's a more finessey sort of presentation. I'm fishing it slower and tight, tight, tight in there. Right in the back there. Oh, I can feel how rough that is in there. The thing is there, I'm actually fishing over the back of weed pockets. Over the back of weed and into pockets in the back. And those pockets hold some fish. Like, this is great technique even for like impoundment barra and all sorts of things where the fish are holding in pockets in the back of the weed and you can't get at them with standard presentations. Yep. Right up in the weed, that guy. That was brilliant. I felt like I was in Louisiana chasing redfish then. That, that landed on the weed virtually and that fish took it when I could feel it all right up in amongst the weed. Feels all right, took a bit of weight in that. Oh, cranky. Oh yeah, that's a beautiful fish. A beautiful flatty from right up in the weed. Come here, buddy. Come on. That bite me off. Oh, solid, solid fish. Solid fish on the little Nedlocks. EWG. Get in here, get in here, get in here. Oh, he doesn't want to give up. Oh, giving me some stick on the little one to three black mamba. He loves catching these guys. All right, here we go. Here we go, in the net, in the net. Oh no, not happy yet. Oh, come on. Now I'm in almost in the weed. I don't want to, don't want to spook this whole area, but this guy is not playing the game. Come on, in the net, in the net. Yeah, that's a good fish. Oh, 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 in the net. Lure's come out. Lure has come out. That's a nice fish. All right, grips are on. Grips are on, fish is back in the water. What a cracker. What a brilliant fish. Have a look at that guy. Mid 50s, very good condition. Solid fish. Brilliant. Put it in the size here and we'll turn it back so we get it to swim the right way. There it goes, back to the bottom. Stoked, super pumped. What a cool fish. On our one tenth ounce Nedlock CWG TT weedless jig head, 2.75 inch TRD bugs. All right, we'll switch it up again quickly to my flats favorite. For picking those pockets in the flats shallow water pockets and structure rolling over weed rolling around timber drains mangroves brilliant little plucky so that's our 2.5 inch slim swims again and we're on our tt snake locks finesse 1 8 number two let's give it a couple of casts right up in this drain so you can basically Get your weedless plastics going anywhere you know in your local system where you fish and it's sort of weed beds and drains and timber and snags. Anywhere where you think you're like, gee, I don't want to throw my jig head in there. A weedless presentation is definitely an option. 
Yep. Oh, you might have seen that guy drill it. Oh, and jump out of the water. I love the jumping flatties and the super shallow stuff. That guy absolutely drilled it. He's only a little tacker, but he nailed that. Slim swims. Absolutely drilled it. Drilled it and then jumped out of the water. All right, give us a look, buddy. Smacked it right in the corner of the jaw, as you often get them. Beautiful little fish. Oi, guys, what are you doing chasing my fish? Oi, get out of there. Oh yeah, there we go, there we go, there we go. We got out, whoa! <laughs> he shook it off, that guy. <laughs> Didn't feel like a giant, but he's shaking that one. It's okay. All right, I reckon we count that hook and drop because we want to switch back, I reckon, to the, this, all, we're almost right in the end of the drain here, so I'm gonna Ned rig it up. This is prime Ned Rig country. The less water I'm fishing and the slower I'm fishing, the more likely I am to pick the Ned Rig presentation. Just hold it and stall it and keep it right in that area. Then it's over to the two and a half inch slim swims and the flats and a bit deeper water and stuff. And then over to the big guy for edges and drop offs and moving faster through more water, covering water, just having a larger presence in that water. You know, here, throwing the three inch minnows right up in here, I might spook whatever's in here. Whereas if I flick this more subtle presentation up in here, it's probably not gonna spook the fish, but it, it's probably gonna attract their attention enough to get the bite. All right, that wind's starting to kick up a little bit more aggressively. Let's see if we can finish things off with our Weedless nedlocks, oh there we go. We can't straight into that weed edge and a fish ate it. So we'll finish things off with the, the weedless nedlocks EWG. Get home and tick a few boxes. Alright, nice little fish. Good fun. Weedless ned. Brilliant. Allowing us to fish right up in that weed where the flatties are hiding. Brilliant. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Love it. Brutal. How green is this guy? Just been ripped out of the water. Come on, buddy. Need to get you off. Don't want to drift into this area. Another one on the Ned. Weedless Ned rig. Hooked beautifully, nailed it, followed it out and drilled it. That's brilliant. All right, folks, there we go. A quick session fishing weedless up in the weed for flathead. Weedless fishing is deadly anywhere where you're confronted with mangroves, reeds, lilies, timber, weed, all sorts of structure that the fish are holding in. So I hope you enjoyed my three favorite weedless presentations and hopefully they might be effective in your kit or you can check out the other weedless options available as well. So you can check out how to rig weedless at tackletactics.com.au in the rigging guide section and also Tackle Tactics TV on YouTube where you'll find loads of fishing vids dropping regularly. So make sure you subscribe over there. So that's it, weedless fishing, good fun and very productive. Hopefully you can utilize it in your fishing. It'll definitely help you to get that lure in and out of structure, which is ideal. Once the fish grabs it though, that's over to you to get that fish out. All right, fish on.